and say that uh, where I am today, uh, I couldn't have done it without the Lord himself. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll move it on. Well, yeah, Ethan? I, I, I'd like to go. Hey. Break one by fast. Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah. Good, good. Oh, hey, uh, if you were uh, thinking about joining a new club this semester, the uh, camaraderie of Christian athletes would love to have you. Um, I'm not an athlete, so. Oh, you don't have to be. Oh, we've actually uh, had people like you before, um, and some of them had a change of heart. It could be good for you. I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, if you change your mind, um, we meet by the flagpole every Monday, and obviously, you know, once a month. What's up, bitch? Hey. Hey. Mm. Y'all gay. No, just me. I'm the token ally. <laughs> Look at them gay club faggots up at the front. I'm surprised the black one's bold enough to sit up there. <laughs> Did y'all hear something? Because I didn't see anybody pass by, but I sure as hell heard somebody talking shit! John! Language! They're idiots. Even more reason for the Gay Straight Alliance to get approved. When's your next meeting with Baron and our good old principal? Today our last one. So, he'll finally have an answer as to whether or not we're going to get approved. Supposedly. Well, about time considering. It took an entire year to think about it. Oakton's been trying to get theirs approved for more than a year, and their principal's still thinking about it. I'm having some trouble picturing students interested in being affiliated with this kind of club. I'm a student. My friends are students. The people that I've talked to about this club are students. We just want a, a space where we can feel safe and accepted. And there is nothing like that here. Congratulations to Matthew Anderson for throwing the game-winning touchdown against the Devils this past Friday. That is all. Have a good day. Why didn't you announce the Gay Straight Alliance at Club Day? Excuse me, Miss Emerson, you may not just barge in Why here. Why didn't you announce us when you gave us your stamp of approval? Look, Haley, we only recently agreed to allow the GS Alliance to exist here. It's likely the announcer didn't receive the addendum on time. You'll just have to wait until next Club Day. That is a month away. Then I suggest you find some way to keep your club active in the meantime. Tape. I wonder if this is active enough for him. <laughs> Principal, my ass. <laughs> Fags aren't welcome here. You should die with the rest of that faggot club in Florida. Holy shit. 
They're organizing a protest for tomorrow morning. If it were my choice, there'd be no fags at the same school as me. If you support gays, then delete me and burn in hell like the rest of your queer buddies. They're burning rainbow flags. These crazy ass white people own rainbow flags now? Uh, Haley? Okay, yeah, I know there are, but she's going to gonna figure something out. Um, guys, no. guys, no. guys, listen, what? I just got off the phone with Baron. okay? What did she say? She's going to make a few phone calls. Phone and calls. she's going to handle everything. How? Okay. How? How? We're going to meet up at school tomorrow just like usual, and we're going to walk in together as a group. Together? Together as a group, okay? Since posted, protest on our club has been gaining more attention in comments. I've gotten messages from too many of you guys saying that you're afraid to come to school tomorrow because someone might follow through on their threats. So I've created a buddy system and assigned everyone a buddy to walk with to and from classes to make sure that no one is left alone at any point today. These people are trying to scare us away because they don't want to deal with us. And I am tired of being called a faggot and a dyke every day. I'm tired of having people tell me that I deserve to die or burn in hell because I'm gay. And I'm tired of hiding who I am just to make people feel comfortable. The people that aren't gonna accept me anyway. And I know that you are too. So we're gonna make them deal with us. We are gonna stand up and fight for what we believe in. Because these people these, these few people, they, they can't, they won't stop what we're trying to do with this club. This isn't just a gay club. This is a community. And we're not going anywhere. If there was one thing that I could get everyone to take from everything we've been doing, just ignoring stereotypes. Learning how to look past that and see people through their personality, who they are rather than who they like. from the school for people to be able to walk through the hallways not afraid. I think to explain how much the club has affected all of us and what it stands for is that it saved my life.